Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> episode 1. I'm actually super excited about watching this show. Kind of for kicks, um, but it, it there is a bit of a disclaimer. Um, that I, I know like an overarching thing about what's going on in the show because I have seen Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged, weirdly enough. I never watched this TV show, but I, I watched Dragon Ball Z abridged, and through that I found Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged. And I watched it cause, just because I thought it was funny. I thought that the people doing it were so talented. So, I've seen Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged, but I haven't seen the show. So, part of the reason why I want, I chose this show was for that purpose, so that I could watch the actual show, and then maybe watch the abridged show again, and be like, oh, I get that joke even better now. So, um, I'm going to start watching Yu-Gi-Oh! I know it's a little bit lengthy, um, but maybe I'll be all set with it after season one. <laughs> Who knows? This is really just for fun. Let's have some fun with it. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the opening theme song because I already know a lot of the characters and I, I know their names and stuff, so I think I'm not gonna be spoiled by anything. I, I mean, I think episode by episode I'll be surprised by things, obviously, but um, I know the overarching plot, as I mentioned. The only thing I'm worried about, well, I'm worried about a lot of things. But one of the biggest things I'm worried about is that this show is going to be too much geared for children, geared towards children. So we open with the kids playing card games and explaining to us how the card game works. You know, defense points and attack points and magic cards, spell cards. All the kids go over to Yugi's house at the end of the, the, end of the day so that uh, Grandpa can show them his... Uh, special rare card. So he has this card called the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It is the it one of four in the whole world. Douchey kid from school Kaiba shows up and is like, I am the best at dual monsters. I'm not even gonna bother playing against any of you. And he's totally hypnotized by the Blue Eyes White Dragon card and he's like, I will give you all of, the, of this entire briefcase full of cards for that one card. Grandpa explains that he's he doesn't necessarily play the game, he just, so he doesn't need the card to be awesome at the game. The card is just important to him because it's because it's sentimental. A friend of his gave him the card. The next day a bunch of thugs go to Yugi's grandpa and they're like, Kaiba demands you to have a duel against him. <laughs> Yugi and his friends find out about this and they run over to Kaiba's house. I think all the friends have different names in the Japanese version, which makes sense now that I think about it for two seconds. But Yugi's still Yugi. So they arrive and Kaiba's like, <laughs> that's right, he rips the card in half, um, Yugi's grandpa's beloved card in half, um, so that no one can ever use it against him. So he gives his deck of cards to Yugi and he's like, Use my cards to defeat him. It is quite curious as to why he's like injured. I, I mean, unless the thugs beat him up. They all put their hands in a circle and um, draw a happy face on their hands to remind them about their friendship. <laughs> okay, she's Anzu. Uh, Joey is Jonoshi, and Tristan is Honda. And so the, the duel between Yugi and Kaiba starts, but Yugi undergoes some kind of weird transformation. So he gets a little bit taller and a little bit pointier. It seemed like Kaiba noticed something happened briefly, but I guess he just doesn't really care all that much. <laughs> Whatever, I guess you're taller and pointier now. So Kaiba has invented some kind of virtual simulation system that makes the monsters real. Um, so they're not just playing card games against each other. I mean, they are still just playing card games against each other, but it's it's a little bit more dramatic than that. 
because the monsters take on a physical form. I don't know how to describe what I'm watching. I don't know if I should do the um, description of like a play-by-play -play of the duel. So because Yugi believes in his cards, he believes in the spirit of his grandpa and that's like his heart beating in the cards, he's able to draw a card that is powerful enough to defeat Kaiba's monster. Unfortunately, Kaiba's then able to draw a blue-eyes white dragon and fight back. And Kaiba drew his second blue-eyes white dragon. He's still got a third one in there somewhere. Doesn't look like Yugi can win. The thing is, Yugi's playing with an unfamiliar deck. He should have just played with his own. He's like, I don't even get what these three cards mean. Yugi then has a flashback of uh, his grandpa telling him about this one really awesome card. Or, not this one, but this one really awesome monster that exists. Um, no one's ever able to summon it because you need five of the same... You need five cards in order to summon it. Yugi has um, four out of five of the cards now, so he just needs one more, I guess. He summons the Dark Magician and um, defeats one of Kaiba's monsters, but it's not strong enough to defeat the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And of course Kaiba just drew the third one. Like, I, I, I'd be suspicious. I'd be like, bro, did you even shuffle your deck? I don't know. If Yugi doesn't draw the final piece of the Exodia monster, he's going to lose on the next turn because Kaiba will attack him with three blue eyes white dragons. He thinks about his grandpa, and he thinks about his friends, and he believes in everything, and he's no longer afraid, and he draws the card. <laughs> Oh, this show is already amazing. Oh, and guess which card he drew? <laughs> the last piece. So of course Yugi wins and he gets to lecture Kaiba about being a prick. Then Yugi just does Kaiba a solid by destroying the evil in his heart. <laughs> Thanks? <laughs> and the last thing we see at the end of the episode is some dude telling another dude that um, Yugi is awesome at dual monsters. So yeah, that's the end of episode one of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how long this show will hold my interest, but I'll watch episodes two and three of it, and we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, I had a good time with the first episode, but I think it was it's because of the novelty. It might it might wear on me very quickly. I might get bored of it very quickly. So I'll watch episodes two and three and make my decision about whether or not to watch the show based on that. See you next time. Goodbye.